I can't stress enough how important hydration is for your health. And I think you know that because whenever I say this to people, they'll say, but Karina, I drink eight glasses of water a day or I drink two liters of water a day. And that's great, but hydration is not necessarily about how much water you drink. The reason that hydration is super, super important for your health is that all throughout your body, you are full of different fluids. You've got blood, you've got lymphatic fluid in your blood, you've got um, different fluids in different compartments in your body. And when your body gets sick, that, uh, that sickness needs to be put somewhere so that your body can either kick it out or park it somewhere so that it's not going to become a problem. The fluids of your body are how your body does that, how it pushes a pathogen out of the way, particularly out of the way of your organs, so that you keep on living. This is something that I'm learning um, in great depth at the moment with my teacher, Anne Cecil Sturman, and to be honest, it's blowing my mind, particularly with the kinds of things that I'm learning about when I am feeling the pulses and the techniques that we're learning with acupuncture and moxibustion to help tonify or plump up the fluids of someone's body when they've been really unwell. And the interesting thing is as well, we live in a culture that's incredibly dehydrating. We drink coffee on an empty stomach. We eat really dry foods like toast for breakfast. We've been culturally conditioned to think that saturated fats are bad. And so we have really strict foods like salads or uh, we, don't have any, we don't have any dressings on the salads or we eat really um, dry foods, crackers and chips and dried, dried fruits and nuts. The importance of hydration is more than I can probably express in this video, but I've come to realize in my own practice and the way that I am meeting the patients and, and looking at how diseases are progressing in their body, that one of the most important things that people can do is start to consume more wet foods. What do I mean when I say wet foods? Well, back in the olden days, people would eat soups there would be a soup starter for dinner. There might even be a soup on the table, depending on what culture you've come from. I know in particular Asian cultures, there'll always be a soup on the table as well as different meals that have got different flavors in them. And that's because it's uh, liquid, getting liquids into the body. And the difference between a soup and drinking a liter of water is that the soup has actually got minerality in the fluid, whereas water, doesn't have anything in it of nutritional value. It's just water. And we're mostly made up of water, so I'm not saying that you shouldn't be drinking water. But if you were just drinking three liters of water a day, your kidneys are gonna be working very hard to filter that water out. And you're probably just gonna be peeing all day as that water just gets flushed through you. Great for a detox, great if you wanted to clean your system, but it doesn't necessarily mean that fluid is getting into your cells or rehydrating you. There's particular treatments in acupuncture that you can't do until people have got enough fluids where they need to be in their body first. And that blew my mind because I'd never thought about hydration in that way before. I'd never thought about one preventative thing that you're doing with your diet and lifestyle could be so important for staving off diseases and infections and illnesses. So my little takeaway for you watching this video today is to start thinking about how dry the foods are that you eat and start thinking about ways that you can incorporate more wet foods into your diet as a preventative medicine to protect your health.